Today is the day. From donuts to pizza to ice cream to a carton of cream, you are about to witness me attempt to eat 15,000 calories today. So sit back, relax. all day so am i and i've noticed i've been snacking uh, a lot more throughout the day than i would otherwise so i thought to myself i may as well just level up and turn this into a full-fledged calorie challenge so that's exactly what we're gonna be doing today and you may have recalled that in uh, 2018 i did a 10,000 calorie challenge in 2019, I did the 10,000 calorie challenge in one hour. And in 2020, now obviously we gotta top that and attempt the 15,000 calorie challenge. So without further ado, let's hop straight into it. But first, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. I would really, really appreciate it. And I think my tactic for today is to kind of split up all the calories between three giant meals of like of uh, 5,000 calories. So I'm gonna have my first one here shortly and my next one at about like 3, 4-ish p.m. and then my final one at like 11 p.m. So I think that'll work best for me. And obviously the only rules for this challenge is I have to consume all calories, all 15,000 calories before midnight. So it's about 8 a.m. now. So I got about 16, I think 16 hours to consume 15,000 calories. And I know for the, the 10,000 calorie challenge, you weren't allowed to use liquids as part of your calorie count. Uh, I think for anything beyond 10,000 calories, it's totally fine. So definitely gonna be doing that as well, um, but it's still gonna be very difficult nonetheless. So yeah, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Okay, so meal number one, uh, it is currently 8.33 in the morning. Not sure if you can see that or not, but uh, meal number one, we got half a dozen donuts from Tim Hortons. Uh, we got, I'm gonna attempt to eat this entire bag of milk chocolate covered almonds. Um, gonna do a box of cooked chocolate cookie clusters. And this is gonna be disgusting, but I'm gonna drink this entire thing of just cream. So I think it's like 1500 calories, just this small carton of cream, basically pure fat. So yeah, I'm gonna watch some on YouTube and uh, watch this back. This is so thick. Oh my God. That was disgusting. It was like li literally like liquid, um, liquid whipping cream. That was disgusting. Ugh. All right, just got some of these uh, chocolate almonds left, and then the first meal is done. Okay, meal number one done. It is 8:49 here, <laughs> so that took me about like 15 minutes. That was honestly like not too, too bad. The whipping cream was disgusting. It was like super, super thick. Uh, the chocolate clusters were great. Those were really easy to eat. The almonds were good at first, but they got like really like bland after a while. And the donuts were decently easy as well. So I think that was about five or six K calories down. Now I got like seven hours to uh, rest and recover and then uh, on to meal two. So check in with you guys then. Right, so it's about one o'clock right now. Just woke up from a long ass nap this morning. Crashed super hard from uh, that first meal, probably from the insane amount of sugar that I consumed. It's probably like a solid two, 300 grams of sugar, which is absolutely crazy for me because I only have like 50, 60 grams of sugar per day on an all day. Um, max 100 if you, if you include like fructose from fruits and stuff like that. But yeah, crashed super hard. This actually happened in my last calorie challenge where I had like a super high sugary breakfast meal one as well. Same thing happens, so glad this the sweets are done with. Gonna focus more on savory stuff for the rest of the day. And yeah, it's on my walk right now, get some steps in. Aiming for about 10,000 steps during this quarantine just to be active and uh, hopefully rev up my metabolism a bit more for meal two. So I'll check in with you guys then. Okay, so next meal of the day, it is now 2.30 p.m. Just got back from that walk and yeah, it was super cold outside, so Took me a while to warm up, but I just uh, picked up some McDonald's, my next meal. So I got a uh, Mighty Angus burger, large fries. We got a large Coke. Um, and then we ha I'm gonna have this first, take a quick break and then have two bagels, one with uh, Nutella and then one with uh, butter. So let's do it. 
Can't forget the ketchup. <laughs> All right, done. So that's now 2.38. Took me all but eight minutes to devour that. That was actually pretty good, easy to eat. Um, I, th I find, that for me personally, I think uh, savory foods are way easier to eat than like sweet foods. Like obviously sweet foods taste good at first, but all that sugar gets to you like really fast. So that was pretty easy. Um, gonna take like a two, three minute break. I'm gonna have two bagels and then with the Nutella and with the butter. Okay, so we got the toasted bagels here. I think I said I need four tablespoons of Nutella. Uh, one tablespoon is 19 grams, so uh, obviously times four is 56 mm. grams of Nutella. So I'm gonna weigh that out on the scale. Wow, that was only one tablespoon. Okay. It's gonna be a lot of Nutella. Okay, so we need six teaspoons, which equals 30 grams of butter. Okay, so we have four tablespoons of Nutella, six tablespoons of butter, um, and that's, I'm gonna finish off this Coke and that will be meal two. Actually, good idea, I'm gonna like mix and match these, probably tastes better. So one Nutella, one butter. Okay, so done meal two. Uh, I'm actually gonna grab like another snack in like an hour or so, but that was pretty good. Uh, that was probably the most enjoyable uh, food of the day so far. So I'm gonna take like an hour break and then pick up uh, probably like a blizzard or something from Dairy Queen uh, to finish off meal two. So I'll check in with you guys in about an hour or so. Right, so quick update, just watched back the uh, footage of the last clip and realized that on the Nutella, 19 times four is 76 grams, not 56, so, and obviously only weighed out 56 grams, so I'm gonna have one tablespoon of just Nutella to finish off this meal properly. All right, now we're officially done. Meal two, check in with you guys in an hour. So I just went to Dairy Queen and picked up this Oreo cheesecake blizzard. And this thing alone has 1,640 calories, which is absolutely insane because people actually have this on a regular basis. Uh, I think that's more than Ben and Jerry's. So, but yeah, probably not the most ideal condition to be consuming a blizzard in blizzard-like conditions. Obviously super cold today, tons of snow everywhere. So yeah, gonna head back to the apartment now, finish off this blizzard, finish off meal two and I'll check in with you guys and then. Okay, so back in the apartment now. It is currently 3.33 p.m. Uh, I'm gonna try to finish this within the next like 10 minutes, but it's gonna be really weird to be eating this because my hands, my face, my ears are like frozen right now. And obviously this is gonna be me making me even colder, but I guess whatever it takes. So we're gonna get this down and uh, see where we're at in terms of uh, calories. Let's do it. Oh my god, I already have a brain freeze. Ah. Oh, it's gonna be hard to eat. What a wonderful world. Okay, done that. Currently 3.41 p.m. Um, I'm gonna go warm up because that was like heavy brain freeze. I'm so cold. But uh, that walk actually helped me quite a bit. So I might even go do another walk before my next meal. I'll probably will have to like 10, 11 p.m. So it gives me a good amount to uh, digest. So uh, yeah, that's meal two. I think I'm around 10,000 calories. Um, then I'll see you guys for meal three in uh, like six hours. Okay, quick update, it is nine, almost 9.30, 9.23, and uh, 
I'm kind of like a little bit hungry uh, since the last meal. It's been about, I think, six hours since I had that last meal. So I'm gonna dust this up, pack of a box of Ferrero Rocher. Uh, my opinion, the best shock in the world. Um, and then have like a full on like 3,000 calorie pizza at like 11 o'clock just before midnight. So I'm gonna dust this quick and then uh, move on to the pizza in about an hour and a half. <laughs> Finished that. That was actually really easy. That was delicious. Um, so, not stuffed, which is a good thing. And I'll probably wait like an hour and a half to uh, finish off with that pizza. And hopefully, after that, I think I should be close or al almost there to uh, that 15,000 calorie mark. So, hopefully. All right, so last meal of the day. It is currently 10:49 p.m. So I have just over an hour to get to this last meal down. Uh, I'm gonna order a pizza off Pizza Hut. I just went on their menu and try to find the most calorically dense pizza I could find, stuffed crust, everything. So I think it's gonna be just over 3,000 calories for the pizza. And I think that'll pull me out at about 15,000 calories, I hope, because otherwise I'll be, it'll be probably like 11.30, 11.45 and I'll have to stuff down some last minute calories, which is never pleasant because I am extremely full. Um, so I'm praying this is the last meal, the last thing I gotta eat. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna make this order and then stuff down this pizza. Hopefully this is it. All right, so pizza just arrived. It is now 11.17, so I got about 45 minutes to crush this. Uh, I'm just gonna get straight into it. So I got a uh, Supreme Large Stuffed Crust Pizza. That's what that looks like. I think that's about 3,000 calories. And then they had like a promo, so I got these uh, buff uh, honey garlic wings as well, deep fried. I think it's like, like five, 600 calories. So just in case I don't hit the calorie mark, I got these guys to uh, get me over that finish line. So without further ado, let's do it. Two pieces of pizza left, three wings, and I am so stuffed right now. I'm getting like super hot just from all the food I'm consuming. All the food's like pushing against my body, so I can barely, barely breathe at this point. <sighs> and I got about half an hour, so 30 minutes till midnight. I gotta finish this. I think if I get this all down, I'll be past 15K, so as long as I get this food in, I'm not too worried. But yeah, this is getting tough. Done. Uh, pizza, wings, done. Wow, how have I ever been so full in my life before? Oh my God. All right, so 15,000 calorie challenge done. This is the damage we're left with. Nice little food baby coming in. Look at that, oh my God. I have never felt this bloated in my life. Oh, it's, it's, it's weird because like all the food's compressing against my stomach so I can like barely breathe right now and I'm super hot. So um, hopefully I passed that 15,000 calorie mark. I'm gonna go lay down for a bit and uh, track my calories, my macros in like an hour or so. So check in with you guys then. Um, if obviously it'll be passed by that by then. So hopefully I'll have consumed 15,000 calories. All right, so the moment we've all been waiting for, did I or did I not hit 15,000 calories? Well, let's find out. So, for breakfast, we had the chocolate almonds, uh, the box of the carton of whipping cream, uh, the box of chocolate cookie clusters, half a dozen donuts, which equaled a total of 6,126 calories for breakfast, meal one. For meal two, we had uh, the Royal Reese's Brownie Blizzard. We had the Mighty Angus Burger from McDonald's. We had McDonald's large fries, and we had a large Coke. Then we topped that off with two everything bagels, one with plain Nutella, and one with margarine or butter. And that came out to a total of 4,190 calories. So I think that's just over 10K there, those two combined. And then for dinner, Meal three, we had uh, a box of Ferrero Rocher. 
We had a large Supreme stuffed crust pizza from Pizza Hut and we finished off with some garlic, honey garlic boneless wings which came out to 4,760 calories for a grand total of 15,076 calories for the day. Absolutely crazy. This is hands down the most I've ever eaten, guys. This is crazy. Uh, and in terms of the macro breakdown, we had 1,506 carbs, uh, 860 grams of fat, and 407 grams of protein. Wow. Well, at least I have my protein intake for the day. Uh, yeah, that's absolutely absurd. Uh, let's see how much sugar I had. So out of that 1,500 grams of carbs, uh, almost a third of that, so almost 500 grams of sugar for the day. Absolutely crazy. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, I usually have like 50, 60 grams of sugar per day. So I'm um, safe to say I'm not gonna be doing this for a long time. So that's the video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. I'd really, really appreciate it. And comment down below on what food challenges you guys wanna see next. Uh, on my Instagram, I did write, I do a food challenge every week during this quarantine. So comment down below on what you guys want to see and I'll choose one to do for next week. Uh, with that, I'm probably going to sleep for the next like 24 hours. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.